Thank you so much to the official channel sponsor, the Wealth Masters Club, for helping ordinary people make money through property investments in specialized trusts. Click the link in the description to find out more. Ladies and gentlemen, let's prop in. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Prop In. If this is your first time here, I go with Nemo Spears Beer. What we do on this channel is that we explore and showcase some of the most beautiful homes in around South Africa. Today we are in Bantry Bay, Cape Town, looking at a gorgeous three bedroom home designed by local award-winning architecture firm, Saota, complemented by Arc, which is the design, the leaders in design, interior design, really. So you already know that this is about to be a very, very special episode. But before we get into it, massive thanks to the people at Turnkey365 for giving us this amazing opportunity to showcase this lovely home with you guys. I'll put all the listing details down below. This property is currently on the market for short-term stays. So you look, if you're looking to come here and stay for short-term, I'll list it down below as always if you haven't yet subscribed to the youtube channel go ahead destroy that subscribe button give us a thumbs up and without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's prop in right so starting the tour at this entryway through this gate and off this landing where if you're looking at the floors you have this aggregate throughout giving you that little bit of ambiance feel to the space it's very white textured very majestic I feel like the sun is just peaking, it's starting to set, very majestic space as an entryway. It gives me sort of like a Santorini Greece type of vibe, which will make sense later on in the video, but just bookmark that. And as we come here, you're greeted by this beautiful large aluminium floor to ceiling window with this, with this large glass inset in, in, full in between. And as we walk in here, I mean, in terms of entrance halls, and details this is very interesting so this home is filled with details and this is something that you've come you come to expect with arc interior designers i mean even if you look at the floor finish the pattern of this marble look tiling with the henny mayor installations it's just a perfect moment and as you advance this side you look at this warm walnut paneling it's very reflective of what um, of the warmer tones used throughout the whole home this home has three levels yet get the ground floor which is basically the entrance and this cabinetry lift that goes to out all the different floors which i'll sh will show you guys but the first floor that's where the two bedrooms are second floor that's where the, where the living and entertainment space is and the top floor that's where the main bedroom is. Now we're going to look at the two bedrooms on the floor above. Let's go. Coming off the lift into this first bedroom. So as soon as you come this side to my left, um, you get this floating vanity with this marble countertop, very stunning. And I love this tiling that they used here. So it almost gives you that leathered finish, light gray, stunning, stunning against the white sort of finishes. Large shower with this obscure glass infill brings a brings a, it pours in a, a bit of natural lighting to this to this room. And one thing I don't want to for, to fail to mention all the rooms in terms of the lighting you can actually dim it, which is very very uh, useful if you want everything as bright. Interesting backdrop here. You get this turquoise looking um, head headboard. TV, air conditioning, and you get the suspended ceiling with the bulkhead surrounding it around. And here you get this nook where you can have your study, you can have your makeup sort of section here, large mirror, I absolutely love that. And continue with this walnut warm theme throughout the whole home. You have this cabinetry space giving you enough room to store all your stuff. And if, 
I hope you guys can see this because this is absolutely stunning. You have unobstructed views of the Atlantic Ocean and this is incredible and also Bantry Bay gives you that uh, very tranquil type of environment. You get the aggregate here and with this with this um, section here and throughout the whole home, you can actually close the screening to protect you against um, the, the sun and any sort of adverse weather. So finishing up this room and going into the next room. And if you guys may follow me this way, here's the elevator, which we just came out of to my left. You get the server room and like um, everything tech wise and throughout the whole home, you can actually a lot of the things are centrally con controlled on your phone. There's an app which you can use to close the blinds, lighting fixtures, all the, the bells and whistles. And if you guys come this side, don't want to forget to tell you about this wet bar here. You have this beautiful cabin tree with this walnut finish and this natural stunning stone which continues throughout the backdrop. And on top there you have open shelving and this um, shelving here to keep your cutlery, plates, all that type of stuff. I love the way the materials dot the whole home. I think I will say this often and a lot, a lot of times someone counted the, the juxtaposing of the materials. I, I really love that. Coming this side, I mean, the, the amount of natural lighting pouring into this space is absolutely beautiful. This is a larger bedroom. Um, a lot of details that we, I'd like to show you guys. Screens still consistent. You can cover the space with these screens. But with these roller blinds, you can control them electronically, at least in the main bedroom, you can do that. Um, lovely setup here, you have the TV, aircon, and if you guys come here, the space is, is separated beautifully by this architecturally um, walnuts uh, slates. You come this side and then you see this beautiful sort of composition of the, the vanity, the sink, beautiful i mean if you if you if you sort of busy here and you see the views behind you absolutely stunning but like the thing i love about this is that even though the sun is quite sharp at this time and day the screen slates allows that there's nothing really uh blocking your vision from the view to my left you get this large um cabinets and storage for all your clothes it has this roller type of um opening don't want to get in too much into that but this is a lovely stunning standalone bath i really love this led lighting gives a mood to the space which is very wide and this pattern continues throughout the whole bathroom from the floor to the walling and in front of me you get the shower which opens the other way <laughs> obscure glass and here you have the shelving the, these niches to put all your sort of functional pieces Beautiful shower head, stunning uh, shower. This side you get the water closet, which obviously has this obscured screening, giving you the privacy, um, similar finishes to it, obscured glass for the outside, bringing more natural lighting to the water closet. Coming back this side to the main part of the bedroom, you have this lounge type of setup here, um, emphasizing how much space that you have in this room. So coming back outside to the path which we just came from and just coming back to the, the pathway where we started. Here was the first bedroom, here was the lift. One section that we didn't look at is this, is this uh, sort of landing because I did use the staircase and Noah did use the lift which is, yeah. Comment down below, tell Noah to use more stairs. Anyways. Beautiful, uh, large floor to ceiling, so sort of window with this obscured glass, giving you privacy from the neighbors, but it does what it does do, it brings natural lighting. So coming up the staircase with the see-through balustrade throughout, giving that feel of endless space. I love this opening, this glass opening. It just gives you a little bit of the view of the ocean from here, and also tons of natural lighting pouring in here. Here you get this, Stunning, I love this this dark brown marble uh, tiling that they used in this powder room. Also stunning, uh, vanity, walnut finish and white that juxtaposes with the brown, this white marble finish to this countertop. And interesting detail is this uh, suspended light fixture with this black, matte black uh, finish uh, 
uh, around it. So you know we love these sort of details on this channel. So coming back towards you guys and from here you can actually see you actually are interested in what is the above there because of this large open field to this um, window. So coming up these stairs. So coming off this stairway and entering this middle floor, this middle floor is absolutely the entertainer's paradise. It's on the middle floor, but that still comes out. You enter this middle floor through this double volume stairwell, which is surrounded throughout the perimeter by this floor to ceiling glass, which brings a lot, a lot of ton, a lot of natural lighting and it introduces the view of the ocean from where I'm standing here. So. Coming onto this middle floor, this middle floor is, is an absolutely, it's an, a riot of calculated contrasts of materials which you will see throughout this whole um, area. So starting off in this kitchen, I love this island here. You get this brown infill marble surrounded by this patinated brass which is finished by this granite topping which is very natural and raw in its, feel, in its texture. I love this. And this space is lightened up by a Nabernski artwork from the Everard Reed um, gallery. And coming around this side, this walnut finish warms out the space entirely and gives you more of that warm feeling against these harsh textures of the granite. Um, and you can even close off this section here to give you that seamless feel. Uh, coming this side to my right, you'll, we'll, we'll just touch on that. But before we get into that, I'd like to take you guys to the scullery. We have this seamless finish of this gray um, cabin trees, abundant amount of storage here for extra foods, non-perishables. And here is also the exit for outside where we're going to show now. But be coming towards you guys, and if you were asking yourself where is the maybe the where do you cook with the 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 plates to cook here you have a Bosch fully integrated Bosch appliances to maybe cook up a storm. So coming towards you guys to my left and exiting this space. Actually, it's better that side. Come through this side. I just want to show you guys this stunning view that you get as soon as you come out. It's actually magical um, as you come out here. It gives me, you remember in the beginning when I was talking about Santorini, Greece, it gives me that type of effect. And if we can take a moment just to see this view, it's absolutely insane. Um, it's actually magical. I mean, coming out here on a day like this, or even earlier, earlier hours of the morning, and having maybe a coffee here, breakfast here, it's... It's, it's what life's about, I guess. Sorry to get deep on you guys, but it's absolutely amazing having this, this spot, this small nook to yourself and having these incredible views. So coming back this side, after you guys have, have drank all this in, pause if you need to pause, I get it. Coming back inside into the scullery and back into the kitchen and living space, and don't forget this sort of pocket door which you can close off the scullery from. Don't want to fail to mention that. And coming here and looking at this beautiful, stunning, circular walnut table surrounded by this Artifort chairs which complement this circular 
feel of this table very well. And in the middle, you get this, this marble Lazy Susan. And if you look up, this whole circular form is mimicked by these circular light fixtures, which um, sort of project a circular halo onto the table, which is very beautiful. This sort of um, structure or installation of light fixtures is these bra brass fixtures is mimicked in the living area, but in the living area is more uh, polygon shaped light fixtures. We will get to though. So coming towards this side, this is more masculine side with the darker tones, darker colors. Above us is very beautiful sort of paneling and sort of uh, architecturally formed uh, slates that are, are on the ceiling and go and draw your eye towards that piece as the backdrop of the, the bar area. Similar brass finish to the kitchen, you get the stunning brass finish throughout the whole countertop of the, or the island of this, this bar. But this bar is absolutely stunning. I'm sure if you're serving people and people are gathering in and around this, the seating space, it's very, it's, as I said, it's an entertainer's dream. And you look here, there's open shelving here, which you can put drinks in between here. Walnut finish to this cabin tree, and you have a bar fridge here, wine cooler, everything you need for a good time. Not that I know of what a good time is, but I assume that's what a good time is. So coming outside here into this courtyard, very stunning, very tranquil now that the, the water fountain and the water feature is on, gives you that, that sort of zen feel to the whole space. Lovely sort of um, vegetation surrounding the perimeter of the space. You get this retaining wall throughout it, giving you this natural feel in the outdoors, which is something that you want. Lovely table for that alfresco type of dining at night. Come here, you have this, this, these sliding doors all the way open. The, the wind coming throughout the whole home. It's a very beautiful space. Then coming towards this side, firstly, you get this beautiful custom-made sofa, which has this angular shape to it, which gives you access to the views of the ocean, TV, and also this outdoor courtyard area, which is, is custom made for that. Coming towards this side, this table, which get, this table is actually in a, a very peculiar shape. It's very interesting. If you sit sitting here because of the shape of the, the table, you might actually stare at it for a while just to understand sort of the geometric shape of it. It's very beautiful. But as I said above us, you have this beautiful lighting fixture installation mimicking what we saw at the dining table behind you guys or in front of me actually this is a beautiful moment if any of you have watched what's the movie called interstellar or is it um is it interstellar inception 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 this is the inception type of effect where I, you see me in the video but you're also seeing me in the video, but I'm also seeing me in the video. It's crazy. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. But this is a beautiful um, TV. If this, if the t when you switch the TV off, it gives you that mirror finish to this backdrop, which is absolutely stunning. Either side of this TV, you get this decorative acoustic fabric with this brass detailing material, cleverly concealing the speakers behind it. And then below this mirror finish, you get this eco-fuel fireplace surrounded by this emperor door marble detail, which is absolutely stunning. I love this darker color marble, um, contrasted by this lighter, more warmer tone cabinetry. Done with the space and approaching sort of this covered patio, you get two sections from this patio. Before we get there, don't want to not mention these Stunning two purple Akko group chairs. They bring about a pop of color in this otherwise um, mute space. I love this um, details here. So coming out here and opening these sliding doors. I mean, this is ab absolutely stunning. The views that you get from here and because it is quite um, cascading into the mountainside, you get this unobstructed view. You don't even see the roadside from here. Stunning pool here, you get this infinity edge pool. And in terms of 
uh, protecting yourself against maybe the sun. You get the screening which can close. Um, you see the railing here in between you. The screening can actually close the space off. We have two sections here where here you get these nude colors, quite neutral colors for the furniture. It actually depicts the Cape Town lifestyle and the Cape Town sort of beaches. Behind you guys, you get this cozy area and here a very beautiful cantilevered biofuel fireplace where you can dry yourself after having sort of a dip in the pool. Come here, dry yourself off and enjoy the views. As you can see, the, the Bantry Bay landscape is absolutely beautiful, especially on a day like this. We're actually worried earlier on that we weren't gonna get this opportunity to showcase this home in the best conditions because it was raining, but the sun allowed us to, to share this with you guys. So coming towards this side, this side is decked out beautifully you have soft furniture which you can enjoy on a day like this which is absolutely amazing and from here you can you can see the top floor which is the main bedroom the main bedroom covers the whole of the top floor which is very very <laughs> it's very special it gives it gives you because the the um, the main the, or the living spaces is on the second floor it means that the the main bedroom is elevated to the top floor giving the, the owner of the home that private penthouse type of feeling. So that was a lot to capture on one floor. Hope you guys did enjoy that floor, but we're not done yet. Finally, we're gonna go to the top floor. Maybe we're gonna finish off with the master bedroom. Let's go. Arriving here at the top level where the main bedroom is, but one thing I still want to point out is this lovely floor to ceiling double volume window corner that actually in, uh, meets at the corner, bringing tunnel of natural lighting, but also the the blinds can, the roller blinds actually can be closed uh, or electronically controlled to be closed throughout this whole main bedroom. Each floor has these tablets which can control sort of like electronic features such as the blinds and the lighting. Here's the lift which does go to the all, all three floors as I said in the beginning but I love the framing of this Emperor marble, dark marble finish that is used to frame this sort of uh, lift perfectly. Corporate finish I think other, the other spaces you have this marble look tiling but here on this main bedroom you have this corporate feel which introduces a little bit of softness into this bedroom because it is a very masculine space. I love this walnut finish that also continues a lot, a lot in this main bedroom. But this roller door does close off the space if you want to have privacy from your bed. But first, before we get into the bedroom, first starting off at the study area, very beautiful study area. From the study area, you have this crazy view of the ocean, sunset, and just the... Bantry Bay households below. So coming towards you guys, to my left, you also have this, this, this pocket door here, which opens up into the bathroom. So coming here, floor finisher changes back into this marble look tiling. Here you have this architecturally shaped slating, dividing the space between this open space, which has the mirror. I assume you come here, you look at the mirror, look at your outfit, and then go attack the day. Here you get the bathroom, we will come back here. But I just want to show you guys here, you get the cabinetry, walnut finish to the cabinetry space. If I were to open one of them, just so you guys can see inside, lots of, lots of storage, soft close finish as well. I love this sort of bridge type of moment here. It gives you access to the outdoor areas, um, very stunning. And same finish throughout that side and also, brings a natural lighting to the space if the, the lighting isn't as bright enough. But as I said, all the lighting fixtures, you can dim um, with the light fixtures. So entering this uh, bathroom, very stunning. Uh, the, the, the quality of materials that we use throughout this whole home is very high quality. You can see they did not spare any cost. I love this floating vanity with this walnut finish to the cabin trees and then the marble finish on the on the countertop you get this very interesting 
um, mirror finish at the top with the lighting, giving you that little bit of ambience and warming up the space perfectly. To my left, you get the water closet, which is soft closed. Do you think it's soft closed? Hmm. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it. Okay, okay. Standalone bathtub with this um, LED sort of light fixtures, giving you a little bit of moody, a moody vibe to the to this bedroom. And I love this sort of standalone towel rail. Also very unique. Gives you an interesting thing to look at. So behind you guys, you get the shower. Coming towards the shower, just so I can show you guys, stunning shower, very, very zen-like shower, has this LED lighting, giving you that mood and beautiful gray leather finished tile throughout this whole perimeter of this shower. And up there, it gives you a little bit of natural lighting with the skylight and the suspended sort of shrubbery um, plants. Very stunning shower. This is very, very calming type of environment. Um, so coming back to the side, Back into the main bedroom and to my right this is where the main bedroom is so you have a, a sort of a a lounge type of setup here and one thing which I did not see in the beginning is this mirror finished TV which is very similar to the one that we saw downstairs it's very stunning. I feel I feel as though if there isn't a, if the TV is not on, it gives you this this mirror finish, enhancing that that sense of space, uh, which I really love. Beautiful sort of purple, pinkish marble circular table, giving you that 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 harmony in, into a, into the space in an otherwise very angular and line dominant space. So coming towards you guys and coming here, you can actually have a beautiful view of the fountain. And also that outside dining area, which is very zen-like and gives you sort of, sort of a tranquil, a tranquil feeling. And one thing I did, we didn't point out that side in the, in the bathroom is that you also have this balcony spot looking at the courtyard. Really beautiful space. So coming towards this side, the bed on the either side of the bed, you have this walnut finished side tables in, in between this very interesting artwork, um, giving you that point of interest in the space. And one thing I don't want to not mention is the ceiling, stunning details here. There's, there's a plethora of details here. Firstly, you get the circular installation of these brass uh, halo lighting fixtures. And then you get this walnut finish on top of it. It's, it's suspended from this walnut finish, which is the ceiling. But then you get this white bulkhead, which is get the suspended ceiling, which has the surround sound throughout. Very, very detail orientated, uh, but this is something that you come to expect with Arc uh, interior design. Um, as you come here, the balcony, very stunning. You get this see-through balustrades, giving you this endless feel of space. Seating for two here and the views from here is absolutely amazing. I mean, the sun is out, but it's not, it's not harsh at this time of day. Um, insane views. I, I feel like the views can speak for themselves. Uh, there's, there's, there's nothing else I can say, but this is a very beautiful and special place to have the view. Down there you have Bantry Bay and throughout there Sea Point and then Green Point, the other side. So thank you so much for getting this far into the video. We love taking you guys to these stunning homes and comment down below what you think about this home, where you, where you rank this home amongst the homes that we have done. Um, thank you so much also to Turnkey365 for giving us the amazing opportunity. I'll link the details for this home if you wanna book it down below. And as always, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead, subscribe. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, see you soon.